welcome once again to our story my elder brother by prem chand if you remember in the previous class we have compared the strategy of both the brothers how they study and what is the result of that now here we'll have to continue the i hope you have remembered the story so we'll continue further the story now the exams uh, times came and uh, all obviously the examination time am already the uh, elder brother is a very studious one so he studied a lot the younger one got a chance for uh, now before the exams he wants to study and he studied also and the results came after that the brother was actually studying till the night in the morning every time he was studying the results came again what happened the brother failed and the younger one the younger sibling or the narrator has passed the elder brother has failed now the difference between the, both of them were only two classes he just got an urge the younger one got an urge to go and tell the elder brother that though you are scolding me though you are stopping me from <clears throat> playing outside and all but right now see the result but when he got this thought also he started feeling ashamed that how should i even think of this way this is why i am enforcing emphasizing this one is because this is one of the moral lesson the writer wants to give us like if elder one though he was always teaching preaching but if he is not able to achieve something the younger one should not lose the line of respect and should not cross that and should not say anything to the elder one even though as a human being he can get a thought so he he was feeling ashamed for getting that thought also but nowadays people can say speak out so he just showing that how the morals and the etiquettes of those two boys how the elder one was maintaining his responsibility of his scolding him and uh, realizing that how the parents money can get wasted and all and how the younger one was keeping the respect of the elder one even though he is better than him in studies now one day what happened is that he spent the whole day outside playing when he came back the whole day he was there he was playing out so the brother called him and he said that now the success has gone to your head because you have passed one exam and you are thinking that now you are near to me because only two classes difference is there instead of five so your success has gone to your head and he started giving him one uh, you can say example of ravana he compared him to ravana you, he said that you are behaving like ravana ravana was actually a very powerful king he is the mightiest and the most powerful king at those times but even the gods were afraid of him in the hindu mythology uh, it was written so this boy the elder one was giving the example of the whole story of ravana to make the younger one realize that the you should not be proud of your success so he said that the gods were afraid of ravana and even it happened that one day ravana started feeling that he he has become greater than gods so that was the ultimate thought for him so slowly what happened his pride brought his himself a bad end you know about how ravana had died and so he started believing himself as the one of the most powerful and even he was thinking that he is the mightiest and he is powerful than gods so obviously the pride needs to be come down so he has fallen and he has got a very bad end and still people remember him, him in a bad light so that he said that he has the knowledge he has the power everything he has but only one thing which brought his bad end is the pride so don't be proud on his success and achievement this is one of the very good lesson the brother has given to the younger one and then he started saying his own problems he started sharing own problems with the younger ones that which subjects are difficult and which subjects he find like why these subjects have so many uh, problems into them like why they are not be the normal ones 
the subjects what he discussed were algebra geometry english and history he found these four as the most difficult ones why because he believes that in history many kings have the same names and he said that why there was a dearth of names why there was less names in the uh, among the people why they wanted to keep the same names like he has taken two examples henry and william and they have like henry first henry second henry third henry sixth eighth tenth like that and with william also the same so he said i get difficulty in learning that which henry's time what happened and which william's time what happened don't you feel that you are uh, getting related to this yeah sometimes it happens that even uh, when you learn the discovery or uh, observation of any of the in scientist or the inventors you had a feeling that why they have invented all these things why if what would happen if they haven't invented these things we would have to learn less don't you get that feeling yes always it happens with all the students that they get a feeling that these people have done so many they have created so many things that it got, we got into trouble because of them the same thing he was feeling and he was sharing his thoughts with that means we have to find out that how much he was fe feeling difficulty into learning these he was not understanding he was not making a tree diagram or something to understand he was just repeating and that's why it is getting difficult to be understood by him next he said about geometry geometry has a b c we have to go from a to b b to c to create the diagrams and all why can't we go from directly from a to c a, a c b if we have written they will make it wrong they will not give a single marks so what is that geometry is such a typical subject he was feeling so in slowly you can understand that the difficulty level of him is not about the subjects and all his understanding level he was not getting the right concept of the subjects the next he said that english composition english composition they said us to write down in examination some examiner he started uh, uh, like backbiting the examiner he was saying that the, some examiner someone has asked us to write down a composition on punctuality punctuality is a single word and we can write down a single sentence and we can declare out what the punctuality means but they told us to write down four pages so why what to write down on the four pages like division of the essays he didn't get that introduction to benefits to disadvantages to everything we have to write down he didn't understand that when he is feeling it is one of the difficult thing to go ahead now these history geometry english composition and in algebra also algebra means like all your formulas and all so these subjects what he mentioned here are not easy but they are not as difficult as he was thinking that shows that he didn't like to understand he just want to repeat rote learning he believe in the rote learning more now he said that i have failed in the examination but understand the life so don't waste your time because in next class or now you are just two classes back to me so in when you come to the ninth class you have to study all this and it will become headache for you it is it could be quite hectic for you so he actually feel like that the elder one that don't feel if you are getting pass so if you come to the same class also i'll be your elder one five years gap between our age will never get change god himself would never change it out so don't even think that if you if we both in the same class also i will be elder than you if you surpasses me that means if you crosses my class and i would be in the same class also don't think that i am going to be come your younger one i would be always the elder one so he i wanted to actually make or you can say reassure the younger one that how he feels never get elder even if class would be the same the same thing he said here and because as you know that the repeated lectures were there continuous he was giving the same lectures every time it loses the charm the younger boy was not feeling like to listen 
he was just simply hearing standing there hearing going coming from this side going out he was not paying any concentration because he knows that obviously he will say the same thing but when he discussed these he got a fear of the ninth class he got a fear that maybe ninth class is tough and these subjects can take all my um, whatever the time for play i have to study more he thought for that and he started studying but the same thing the same ways he never get change whatever the cost could be he always believe in playing out as uh, in the previous class we discussed that he feel alive he feel refreshed in the outside fields or outside air so he never changed the um, ways and he continuously go ahead in that way but next it happened next year examination being happened so he would be writing eighth class uh, now the brother is in the uh, brother is already in the ninth class he is writing seventh class now again the younger one passed and the elder one failed only one class difference would be there only one class difference and now elder one cried a lot because he did so much hard work but he could not able to crack the examination what do you think he was in a uh, stupid fellow he was he does not have the brain to learn no intelligence he is a dull person no that's what premchand wanted to clear it out here he was a good because he has given such a good example over here of ravana and all he understood everything but the main thing is that he was not understanding the subjects he was just repeating them without understanding rote learning like the parrot so even the younger one felt too bad that my brother though he is trying so many times but he was not passing out so he also cried with him and one one day it had happened that the next after 2 3 days when their depression get away <clears throat> they started uh, actually the younger one gone outside and he was running he was following or you can say he was chasing a kite you must have seen nearby areas that the boys whenever there is a chance the kite they fly the kites they just to chase the kites they just want to get the other kites more so he was running like a mad person and suddenly he saw the elder brother coming in front of him so obviously he has to stop he was get a fear now again the lecture would start so what would happen the elder brother stopped him and seriously he got very angry on the younger one and he said you are running like a urchin urchin means the orphans those who are uh, the ones those who don't go to school those who don't have any work to do they just play like this and you know in now you are in 8th class 8th class people can become at those times deputy collectors tehsildars and also you can go and do something for better future rather than running like a uh, ones those who don't have their homes homeless people can run like this so why you are waste, you are not even um thinking about your reputation your prestige you are not thinking the name of the father father has um actually brought up nine he work for the family of nine members are there in the family he worked for us and he provided so much so many things for us he is spending the amount on our study and but he could not pass beyond the fifth standard now you have to study more to pass the standards better and then in the life you would have to do that whatever father expected from him he wanted the elder one has given that lecture and he said that for me even i wanted to play outside i wanted to enjoy life but if i would enjoy how could i stop you from enjoying how could i make you study to become an elder one to shoulder my responsibility i stopped playing is this right thing he should also have to enjoy his childhood so but suddenly what happened the kite came near to him the string of the kite came near to him and the brother suddenly elder one forget everything just simply he jumped and caught up the string and both of them have started running towards the kite so that shows that the elder one also has the capacity or potential to play but he does not want to spend time in playing the games so maybe now he could change his ways and he could enjoy a life 
so he can do better in his exams and can crack the exam and he can pass it out once so that only the concept behind the whole story is that munshi premchand wanted to convey the message that no play and only studies can do no wonders if you want to do something wonderful and you want to achieve the top ranks you would have to refresh your mind once in a while to get a battery recharge like for yourself so that is the concept i hope you have understood very well and go ahead by reading continue reading that whole story once and try to get that into your mind by the time now we are ending this one next in the next class we'll meet with the other explanation of the prose or poetry by the time take care